this life, the wage that we earn is death from our sin. Because the Bible said that death came into the world through sin, through Adam. Adam's sin brought death into the world, so it's not normal to die. That's for a result of sin. And there's two parts to death. There's a physical death when we're all going to go in the grave, but there's also a spiritual death. And the spiritual death is when you go into hell. But God is merciful. God doesn't want you to have the second death of hell as well. He wants you to be on this side. The second part of the verse says, The gift of God is eternal life in Jesus our Lord. And if you know what a gift is, a gift is something that's free to you, but it costs the other person a whole lot. It's like if I saved my whole life of money and I gave an inheritance to my daughter, it costs me a lot, but it's free to her. In this case, the gift is eternal life. So eternal life, eternity with God in heaven. And that comes through Jesus. It says, the, the Bible said that God gave His Son to us as a sacrifice on the cross. So He died on the cross for our sins and our debt. Because we all like sheep have gone astray and the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. So our sins, my sins went on the cross with Jesus. And therefore my punishment for my sins went on the cross as well. So Jesus took my sins and my death on the cross and he died in my place so that I could have eternal life. In order for us to get that eternal life, Jesus has to be our Lord. means master. So if Jesus is your master, you can have this eternal life as well. So if you accept Jesus as Lord, because Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, but you don't do what I say? So for him to be your Lord, you have to do what he says. And we have the Bible to guide us for this. Jesus teaches us, God teaches us through the Bible what his word is and how he can be our Lord. So if we confess with Je that Jesus is Lord and we believe that he's Lord, he'll take our sins and our death on the cross and we'll go from this side and God will take us and give us eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's why we have this invitation. And God invites you to come to Him, so he invites you to Christ, to confess that Jesus is Lord. So you don't have to be your Lord. God can be your Lord.